What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be solving a programming question called minimum number of steps to make two strings anagram. This is a medium level question and the problem description goes like this. Given two equal sized strings S and T, in one step you can choose any character of T and replace it with another character. Return the minimum number of steps to make T an anagram of S. An anagram of a string is a string that contains the same characters with a different or the same ordering. So here we have an example where the input is BAB and the other string is ABA. The output is 1 because we can replace the first A in T with B and T will equal to BBA which is an anagram of S. And an anagram just means that they contain all of the same characters. So if we changed the A here into B, it will have the same characters, which are B, B, A, and two Bs, one A. And so in the second example, we have something similar, just with uh, the words lead code in practice. So if we replaced the P, R, A, I, C in practice, then we can get characters that are anagrams of S, in lead code and then we can have our answer. In the third example, um, anagram and manjar are anagrams of each other because they all contain the same characters. In the fourth example, that the xxyyzz and xsyyzz are the same words so they are already anagrams. And in the fifth example, friend and family has four characters that needs to be replaced in order to be anagrams of each other. So the constraints are the length has to be greater than or equal than 1 and less than or equal to 50,000. S dot length is equal to T dot length. They're, they have to be the same length in order for it to be anagrams. And S and T can contain only lowercase English characters. Now how are we going to solve this problem? What we can do is store everything into dictionaries and calculate how many characters we have in every single string. So between the two strings, we store one dictionary that has all of the counts for one string, and then we store another dictionary that has all of the counts for the other strings. And then we can compare those two dictionaries and see if they both have the same number of counts in the letters. And if they have the same number of the counts in the letters, then that means that they are anagrams of each other already, at least for that character. And if um, the count for that character is less in S or is less in T, they're not equal. We're going to find out the difference and then add it to our results. And so the results will be the number of steps. So let's try and code that out. The first thing that I'm going to do is set the S count dictionary and the T count dictionary. So the S count dictionary will be dictionary and the t count dictionary will be the dic a dictionary so i initialized both with double curly uh, braces opening and closing curly braces and that means that they are initialized as a dictionary now and now we're going to go through all of the items in s so for i in s and i'll see if that item is already contained inside of the s count so if i in s count and if it's already contained in the s count I can increase the value by one, so we know that the count is um, more than one. So s count at i with plus equals one. And if it doesn't exist yet, we'll add it into that dictionary. So else s count at i is equal to one. And now we're going to do the same thing for the t count, so we can see all of the characters and the number of times they appear in T. So for I in T, if I is in T count, T count at I would be plus or equals to one, so we'll add one to the existing value. Otherwise, we'll just um, add that index into the dictionary. And so now we have both S count and T count. What we can do is loop through either one of the dictionary, I'm going to loop through the S count. And now I'm going to see if 
The character at S count appears the same number of times as the character at T count. So I will set it to SI and it equals to S count dot get I minus T count dot get I. And just in case the characters don't exist, I will set it to a default of zero. And now if SI is greater than zero, I will add that difference into my steps because those are the number of steps that I have to make in order to make it into an anagram. So I will initialize the steps to zero and I will add SI into the number of steps. Now I am just going to return steps and I'm going to run the code and see if it gives me the right answer. So we can see that our input was accepted and the strings BAB and ABA only, only need to be modified by one character and that character is B and if we modify the first B into an A then we get the anagram ABA and AAB. So that is the correct answer and all we had to do was realize that um, if the S count and the T count were the same then they were anagrams. And if they were not the same, then we'll add the difference of how many times the characters exist in um, the strings. And then we can see how many steps we have to modify. So that is the solution to the make two strings anagrams problem. I hope you enjoyed this approach. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.